What if two of the most common supplements in your cabinet are quietly canceling each other out, or worse, slowly harming your heart, brain, or energy without you knowing? This isn't a scare story. It's a quiet warning, born from science and experience. Because as we age, the timing of what we take matters more than we think. Some vitamins work beautifully on their own, but when swallowed side by side, they begin to clash, muting each other's benefits or even opening doors we never meant to unlock. Today we'll explore five supplement combinations that seniors often take, but shouldn't. And more importantly, we'll show you how to space them out, how to let each one speak clearly to your body, and how to restore rhythm to your routine without adding fear. Let's begin. One, vitamin C plus B, 12. You take your vitamins with intention, a little orange pill for immunity, a little red dot for energy and nerves. They sit together on your breakfast plate, a morning ritual you trust. But what if those two well-meaning nutrients don't speak the same language? Vitamin C is acidic, fast, and eager to act. B, 12 is delicate, sensitive. It needs space to be absorbed. When swallowed together, vitamin C can quietly break down B12 before your body has a chance to use it. You won't feel it that day, or even that week. But slowly, signs begin to whisper. Fatigue that doesn't match your sleep. Tingling in your fingertips. Words that fade just before you speak. You wonder, is it age? Is it stress? But maybe, it's just a matter of timing. Here's a gentler rhythm. Take vitamin C in the morning, after breakfast. Let it settle, let it energize. Then give B12 its own window, perhaps mid-morning or after lunch. Two hours apart is all it takes, not restriction, just kindness and spacing. Because healing isn't a flood of good things at once. It's a sequence, like music, one note, then the next. And when your body receives them in the right order, energy returns not as a jolt, but as clarity, a word remembered, a step that feels more yours again. Two, calcium plus magnesium. You've heard the message for years. Protect your bones, take calcium, stay strong. So you do. You stir it into your smoothie. You take it faithfully, a silent pact with your future spine. Because no one wants the day when stairs feel like cliffs or when a small trip breaks something big. But here's the part they forget to tell you. Calcium doesn't build strength alone. It needs a co-pilot. It needs magnesium, not just nearby, but heard. Magnesium regulates more than 300 processes in your body. It keeps your heartbeat steady, your muscles relaxed, your nerves calm and connected. It's like the soft conductor beneath the strong percussion of calcium. But when calcium shows up in large doses, especially in isolation, it doesn't just dominate. It drowns magnesium out. The result? You feel tight instead of strong. You get leg cramps that come out of nowhere. You sleep, but still wake up clenched. Your heartbeat flutters when it should be steady, all while your blood test says, normal range. You think you're helping your body stand taller, but inside, there's conflict without noise. A mineral duet that's become a tug of war. So, maybe the real strength begins here, in a softer rhythm. Calcium and magnesium should be taken in a two-to-one ratio, no more. Better yet, take them at separate times. Let calcium lead after breakfast. Let magnesium whisper before bed. And always take with real food, not fasted, not rushed. Because healing isn't force, it's flow. Bones are built by what settles in calmly, not what rushes in loud. Give magnesium back its space, and you may find that strength comes softer than you thought in steadier sleep, in fewer cramps, in a breath that doesn't catch. Because sometimes the body isn't asking for more, it's asking for balance. Three, zinc plus copper. You hear about zinc all the time. It's in lozenges, immune boosters, winter prep kits. Take zinc, they say, and you won't get sick. So you do, faithfully, especially after 60, when your body feels like it needs a little more defense. And zinc becomes the hero you trust. But here's the part, no one tells you. Too much zinc can block copper. And copper, it's not loud. It doesn't protest with pain. It just disappears, slowly. And with it, go things you didn't even link together. Tiredness, even when you've rested. 
feeling unusually cold, hands, feet, even your chest, blood work that seems off, but no one connects the dots because low copper doesn't raise its hand. It just steps back and your body loses a quiet stabilizer it depends on. So maybe it's not about choosing one. Maybe it's about letting each take its turn. Try this rhythm. Alternate days, or space them at least a few hours apart. Let zinc speak first, then let copper enter, without having to fight for space. Your body doesn't need more noise. It needs harmony. And sometimes, healing happens not when you add more, but when you stop letting one thing overpower the rest. That shiver you've been blaming on the weather? It might be something deeper and softer, asking to be heard again. Number four, green tea plus iron. You drink green tea because it feels right, clean, gentle, like a ritual that aligns with who you are now, someone who chooses wisely, and it is good. Green tea soothes inflammation, balances metabolism, offers a moment of pause, but maybe it's also doing something else, something you didn't intend. Inside that clear cup are compounds called tannins, natural, plant-based, and honest. But tannins have a quiet habit. They bind to iron in your gut, especially the kind found in plant-based supplements. And when they bind, they block. So while you take your iron faithfully, while you fight the fatigue, wondering why energy still slips through your fingers, the answer might be floating gently in your teacup. So what can you shift? Not the tea, not the iron, just the moment in between. Let green tea have its own hour, maybe mid-morning. Let iron arrive on its own, perhaps first thing with lemon water, or later with a small meal. Give both space to work, not against each other, but for you. Because your body isn't confused, it's just overwhelmed. And sometimes, strength doesn't come from stronger supplements. It comes from simpler spacing. The weariness that's lingered, it might not be you. It might be two good things, asking not to be swallowed together. Five, vitamin D plus vitamin K. You take vitamin D because you were told to. Strong bones, better immunity. And it makes sense, especially as the years stretch on and the sun feels a little further away. But vitamin D does something powerful. It brings calcium into your blood, not a little, a lot. Enough to strengthen bones, if it knows where to go. But... What happens when calcium enters the bloodstream and has no guide? It wanders. And what was meant to be bone can become buildup in arteries, in joints, in the places that were meant to stay soft and flowing. That's where vitamin K steps in, not with noise, but with direction. It whispers to calcium, not here, over there, to bones, to teeth, to the places that are ready to hold. Try this. Take them together, but with a meal that carries healthy fats, avocado, nuts, olive oil, or space them gently throughout the day. Don't rush. Don't stack without thought. Because strength isn't just about what you take in. It's about where it lands. And sometimes the softest supplements, the ones with no hype, are the ones doing the most guiding behind the scenes. Your skeleton doesn't just need density. It needs direction and the wisdom to know when to let something lead and when to let something follow. Your supplement shelf might look clean and helpful, but healing isn't about quantity, it's about rhythm. When to take, when to pause, when to let one ingredient speak while another waits in silence. This isn't about throwing anything away, it's about listening and letting your body speak one capsule at a time. You don't have to fear your supplements, you just need to space them with kindness. Comment Fix My Stack if you're going to adjust even one of these combinations this week. Small shifts change everything. And next, we'll explore five supplement pairs that actually work better together, especially after 60. Because healing isn't always subtraction. Sometimes it's about the right connection.